This week, we take another try at the epoxy flower kitchen cabinet door. Garen and Ellie add some touches to the baby room, and Shay makes a jacket vest. If you remember from last time when I did the epoxy flowers for the kitchen cabinet, I used real flowers and I had some issues. The yellows were all fine, but the orange, that's what the orange turned out, the real bright orange, and that was that bright or that deep red, so that definitely took the color out of those. I'm getting ready to retest the flowers for the kitchen. I picked three ideas out of several that were given. Thank you for giving all those wonderful ideas. And I have both artificial flowers in here and real flowers. I'm gonna go smash them down and then I'll be right back and we'll go through the test. Okay, I got them flattened. The artificial flowers, they really just bounced right back. But we'll see what we can do. We're mainly testing for color right now anyway. Hairspray, and we've got clear coat. Three different color of flower. Mm -hmm. So one of them, we're gonna spray with hairspray. Oh uh, uh, yes. If I had hair, hairspray would be good. Mm -hmm. Yes. The other one we're gonna use the clear coat on. I'll let them dry for a little bit. The third one will be just the epoxy flower. Won't do anything with them, so. This is the stuff with the hairspray. What's interesting is they are a little more stiffer. I don't want to use a lot of the epoxy because it's kind of spandy. I just want to be able to just get a test of the color. This one with the clear coat, these flowers are stiffer than the hairspray ones. And this is just straight artificial flowers. From last time, immediately when I put them on, the darkness started to happen. And it's interesting because if you look at these flowers right here, we're already seeing these artificial flowers darken a little bit as these colors really are not changing. Changing. Boy, it's looking kind of good. We'll give it 24 hours to, uh, to really get a good tester roux on it. We're gonna start moving the crib into the baby room. So we're excited. We gotta, we gotta tear it down a little bit. We've built it so it comes apart. That way we can get it in through doors. Yeah, this is kind of big and heavy. Yeah. It looks so cute in here, doesn't it? I'm gonna get started on the baby mobile again. I'm hoping to get the mobile finished up this week. I got a couple butterflies and some leafs to do. Got the carving all done, now it's time for some paint. Wow, I'm sewing up this jacket. Let's leave this denim coat. Yeah, Brie wanted one. So I'll make it baggy like she wants, and then if she wants me to slim it down, then I'll do that. The collar here. Hey, how's it going? Good, I just need you to try this on. Tell me what you think. All right. <laughs> Very nice. I don't know, what do you think now? Do you want me to let you know what I'm feeling in the jacket? I, I will wear anything, so you have to be no. the, you have to be the. I mean, I'm, I have an opinion at a certain point, but. I, I was thinking maybe we can take it in. Oh yeah, those are cute. Yes, Shay, yes, definitely. I get cold a lot, so I'll say yes. <laughs> okay. Feels well made. An inch off the back too. So this is the jacket I've been working on for Brie. It still has some work to go. Is it Now it's gonna be sleeveless too, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. good. It looks great, I think it's awesome. It's coming together good. It really is. Looking great. You gotta see Yui's new trick that he's learned from the dogs. 
Are you sit? Can you sit? Can you sit? Hey, can you sit? Or crouch, I don't even know what that was. <laughs> It's the next day. The artificials kept their color really nice with it. It looks like the flower is aging in this one. That's the hairspray. This one, it looks like our flower is still kind of losing its this color. This one kept more color though. I wanted to just jump in and do this, but I want to wait a few days and see what, what happens. I'm thinking that that flower is going to age. I'm really leaning now towards the artificial flowers. I just got to either find a way to flatten them or find some flatter type ones. Here's the results. Both of this, the clear coat and the hairspray, I still lost color. Look at the color just drained out of it. And again, the yellow held. Although, you know, there wasn't much yellow in that, but even the peach turned to yellow. The artificial flowers with the clear coat on them, the colors didn't deteriorate. Like if I compare these two, these darkened, but these didn't. You know, it was funny, my mom also was one who suggested artificial flowers when I mentioned to her doing this. And you know, moms always know best. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the artificial flower. My issue with these flowers are gonna be flattening them. There probably was a better way to do it. We could have clear coated these with several coats and hairsprayed with several coats. This epoxy, we might have some oxygen leaking through there. I might have been able to find success with that. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the silk flowers. I think the artificial is going to give me that brilliant color. So I think that is the next plan on this. Okay, very That's cool. where we're at with that project. You got to try it on so we can see how the back looks. Ooh. Oh yeah. How's it look? This will be the, the front. It's gonna be awesome. We have to get a second, I don't know, opinion. <laughs> I asked Bree if I should sew this all the way down. I kind of left it there on purpose. I thought it would look cool. And I asked her what her opinion was, and she said, I don't know. So I said, let's go ask mom. If we needed another, I don't know opinion. So we're, we're off to go to find go. mom so we can get her, I don't know, opinion. I love that. That looks so good. Oh, it's very sleek. Cool. So my question is, yeah. should it sew all the way down or should it open like that? Yeah, I like it like that. What would it, I can't imagine what it would look. It would just be sewn right here. I don't know, that's up to you. We got the second, I don't know. <laughs> you want to sacrifice a flower, like an artificial one? Yeah. We could try ironing it. Oh, iron? like with a towel in between. Yeah, so that yes. it heats it up. So it yes. warps it flat, Let's I was thinking. Oh, just yeah, one. Yeah, and especially with chest flowers. You know, because those are, and these flowers are so expensive to sacrifice. The, oh. dollar, the dollar store oh, flowers. Oh man. These natural flowers smell amazing. Nah, just kidding, they're mm -hmm. fake. We found we can take the heads off of them. The problem is they're a little too, you know, scraggly. They stick up really far. And we're gonna throw them in there, you know, stick up above. First cut that little stem off too, because we wouldn't need that stem on there. We still use the middle part but take it apart like this, and then take these things and iron them out. Let's see what happens when we put an iron to this thing, huh? I hope it doesn't shrivel up like a, like a fry. Hey, look at that. They're flat. Now well, we have them ironed out. Put this guy back on there. This is the back section, it goes like this. Put that guy back on there. Ooh. That's much flatter than it was. And then let's take the back and put them in here with the rest of them. Perfect. Perfect. Nice and flat. Can Put this guy. Right in there. Bam on. Bryson pioneered ironing down the flowers to get them nice and flat. Work super good. So we're going to iron down the rest of these. All right. Great reveal moment. All right. Let's see. These are definitely flat. Do you want me to put all the flat ones over here, Bree, and then start another load? Yep. Okay. I'm loving it. Very bright and cheery. It's gonna be very bright and cheery for sure. We have our flower composition created. Now we are going to hit it with some clear coat and then it'll be on to, to seal mm -hmm. it forever and ever, amen. That certainly is a cheery little composition. It's gonna be fun to see it all sealed in. We're gonna clear coat it. 
So we'll get that glue coat on there. Get all the bubbles out. Debubble in with the heat gun. It's almost too bright, but now after we put the resin on it, it did darken a little bit. In this case, I'm happy about that. Really liking the depth of this stuff too, aren't you, Bray? Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Yui, Yui, can you sit? Oh, oh, oh. oh I leap. Sit, Yui, sit. No, no. I had a lot of siblings growing up. There was nine of us total. My mom loved being a mom and she gave me her old rocking chair that she rocked all nine of us in and it's been through a lot of use. So I'm gonna restore it a little bit and get it ready for our family. Okay, so I got the chair all sanded down. I'm gonna start staining it. I'm gonna use the same stain that we had on the crib, so hopefully it'll all match. It's gonna be a little different because it's a different type of wood, but hopefully it turns out really good. I got all the staining done, so I'm gonna go see what I can do with the cushion. I didn't really care for the look of this material. They're basically the size of a pillow, so I found this gray pillowcase that's gonna go really well in the baby room for the bottom seat cushion, which I think is the only one we're gonna use. It is a little too big. I'm gonna be cutting some of it off and then sewing the end. Let's we'll see if it fits now. Alright, looks good. Now we can get it put in the room. Okay, the back is done. Hey! So you can do your art and I'll finish the buttons and stuff later. Alright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I was thinking, like, obviously not to the scale. A border like that. So I have chalked out a little bit of a rough outline what I want here. Plan is very simple. I don't know if you have seen the YouTube channel Vex. A doodle artist, he does all kinds of fun little stuff and I always thought that would be super cool to try. Figured now would be a good opportunity. My goal here is not to make the doodles of little objects too small because of this. <laughs> here I've got a list of stuff that I'm going to just lay out and then paint. Hopefully it'll be that easy. <laughs> Guitar, gaming headsets, a piano, keys, a pepper with sunglasses, a gaming controller, gaming mouse, a gaming chair, some cookies, a camera, a snapback hat, sneakers. That's cute. And maybe a band-aid or two. We need to cut a rabbit, which is a notch. We're gonna take a whole corner off. We're gonna go this way, 5 16 and this way, 1 half inch. We'll cut that rabbit out on that side. Same thing on this side, and that's where I attach the door bracket. Okay. And then I have some measurements as to where to put that. Yes. And we gotta clean all this colorful stuff out of here, too. Yeah, the flowers? Yeah. It's, it's really, really cool. It is. It looks amazing. So much 3D depth to it. Yeah, there is. It's really neat. Take the hoop iron, get the rabbits cut on the sides, and then cut our cleats, I guess I might say, on the sides there. We can attach the brackets to them. All right, sounds good. I'm just watching. I'm like you. Let's not let that 
over there. I'll just cut it out. Calling it a rabbit. Do you feel like hopping? Hopping where? Because it's a rabbit. Oh, yeah, I feel like hopping. I don't think you got it the first time. Boy. It's really fun to be able to spend time together working on a project. Something about working together that's different than playing together. It's really fun to be able to do that and have our, like you said, our own touches kind of put into a project that's so cool. You know, it's for our little, our little baby girl. I'm excited for her to get here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> We're making the top ring for the mobile that everything's gonna hang off of. We were trying to figure out what material to make it out of. And I think that we're gonna go with horseshoes. So we just have like a bunch of halves and I gotta cut one more because this is the wrong direction. But um, kind of go like this and have a bit of a, a square-like circle. Will this thing up. All right, you get all welded up. Yeah. Our little square, it looks kind of cool. I like it. It does, it looks really cool. A little bit wavy, but that's fine. That's character. Yeah. I'm gonna go quench it. And we just gotta drill some holes in it and get some string together. And then give it a quick coat of paint. is done now we're gonna go inside and see how it looks on the curb yeah They're so good with you know, all the little art that Shay and Brie did and the crib and the rocking chair and the little just all the little touches and the baby mobile. Uh, I really love it. Just got the changing table and that's gonna wrap the room up, which we're excited to get there too, because it's a longer um, process to build the furniture that goes in the room or redo the furniture that goes in the room. Yeah. It's a lot longer, but yeah. it's, it's definitely worth it though. Oh, yeah. use it. For this cabinet door that Shelly has so beautifully put together, we're going to use a different type of hinge. We're going to use the bookshelf hinge, which allows the cabinet door to actually pull up and slide back. There we go. really like it. Works really well with the other flower in the kitchen too and I'm just very very pleased. I feel there's a lot of depth to it. Very very happy with it. It's so cute. Oh, she did a great job. She got all the buttons in. I got the painting done for the back of it there. So cute. Oh, yeah Shay you did a great job. It looks awesome. Really like the way the pleats turned out too in the back. It's cute. Yeah, I like the shape of it. 
You did good, Shay. Mm -hmm, looks great. All right, well that wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is the, my painting from the jacket and the digital version. If you'd like to pick this up on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, hoodie, handbag, apron, all kinds of our products over on our shop, you can check out the link in the description along with all the other designs that we've done in the past weeks. You can also find them there as well. Here's a quick update on dad. Hey, a little update on my health. Uh, I'm doing better every day. I have started my cancer treatments. Pretty excited about how everything's uh, beginning to progress. The big news this week for us was when Gary Gary was at the hospital, his uh, white blood cell count was at 1.4. Monday you went in for another blood test and it had jumped all the way to 5.8. White which, blood cell, yeah. So that's good news because that puts him out of the danger zone. He doesn't have to wear a little mask thing everywhere he goes. And We'd also like to thank you for your prayers and good thoughts and vibes and things that you've been sending our way. It's working. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for being a part of our family, and we'll catch you next Friday. Bye! Thank you! Beautiful! I just woke up this morning. Yes. Yeah, Didn't have to brush it or nothing. You look gorgeous. Family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. You're sniffy right now. Yeah, bud.